So we're going to be doing our last elimination rebuild today of the first round of the playoffs, and we are going to be rebuilding the Memphis Grizzlies. It has been a little bit since they've been eliminated now, but better late than ever, am I right? So before we get back into the rebuild, I want to give a word from today's sponsor, Factor. If you're new to the channel, you might be like, Matt, what is Factor? Well, Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. In May, you might be too busy to cook. So with Factor, you could skip the trip to the grocery store and skip all the chopping, the prepping and cleaning up too because factors meals are ready in just two minutes factor offers delicious and flavorful options each week to fit a variety of lifestyles they have keto calorie smart vegan plus veggie and cow vegan plus veggie and protein plus with me personally i love making factor when i come home from work i have an hour commute at the end of the day i get home around six o'clock i got some videos to make for you guys and just having a factor meal ready to make in two minutes is literally a lifesaver you can see me cooking the cream chicken and potato meal right here and it was absolutely delicious it's one of them that i recommend and yeah just having this meal ready in two minutes just saves me so much time that i could put into a more of an effort for videos for you guys and yeah factor is easy and like i said they're ready in just two minutes which is quicker than takeout and it's also cheaper than takeout as well so you can head to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use code six rings 40 you can see it on your screen now and you can get 40 percent off your first factor box that's code six rings 40 s-i-x-r-i-n-g-s number 40 you can see it on your screen now use that at checkout to get 40 percent off your first box and thank you to factor for sponsoring today's video and you can see that the grizzlies maybe took a step back as their overall future this season now john morant played as good as anybody when he was on the floor but he had his off the court issues he was injured for a little bit of the year but we got to see jaron jackson jr break out on the offensive end when jaw was out and oh yeah he won depoy as well desmond bain is still one of the league's best shooters we saw how important stephen adams was to this team and there were reports that the grizzlies did offer a decent amount for og and anobi at the trade deadline but the raptors weren't interested in a young player like zaire williams or the duo of jake laravia and david roddy so yeah we are going to be rebuilding the memphis grizzlies today like i mentioned we got Jokic and Bede in the NBA Finals. That'd be crazy. And the Sixers sweep the nuggets okay but yeah like we have our franchise player in john moran we have our number two in jaron jackson jr i think we need a second i think offensive scoring option or at least somebody that can create his own shot like desmond bain great shooter elite shooter is somebody that you want to go in the isolation with when john moran is getting double teamed or in foul trouble or is maybe not in the game in the fourth quarter i don't know same with triple j we did see him improve mightily as a post player when job was out and we saw him as the number one option but i think i'm looking for somebody maybe like an og and an obi who can be an elite defender for us or maybe combined the second scoring option and elite defender and go after maybe somebody really good in the offseason we'll see so the grizzlies do have their first round pick in the 2023 draft we're at 26 shout out to charlotte winning the Wemby sweepstakes we're gonna keep taylor jenkins as our head coach i honestly think he did a good job with the grizzlies this year i mean losing in round one as a two seed is just as embarrassing as the bucks losing in round one as a one seed now it's obviously not as embarrassing being a seed lower but i think with all the off the court distractions with the grizzlies this year with Ja and dylan brooks i think he did a good job not having this team blow up because it could have ended a lot worse for them but still a disappointing end to the season nonetheless and with steven adams getting up there in age maybe we look for somebody that can still be as important as him but just maybe be a little bit younger fit that Ja triple j timeline gotta shout out the gm zach clement man in 2018 you get triple j fourth overall in 2019 you get Ja second overall and in 2020 you get desmond bain 30th overall that is just an elite trio of draft picks i love ty jones as a backup point guard but honestly in the playoffs he definitely was underwhelming offensively and maybe we move on from aldama or roddy or conchar or something like that i like luke Kennard and his elite three-point shooting for us like him and desmond bain are just kind of an elite shooting guard duo or i guess an elite shooting shooting guard duo not overall shooting so does charlotte take one be number one okay they do they don't mess up that pick Detroit goes Brandon Miller, not surprised because yeah, they don't really need another guard and Scoot Henderson falls perfectly into the Spurs laps and Derek Lively falls to us at 26. I think he's a for sure top 20 pick in real life. So we get somebody that can project into a really good rim protector shop blocker for us that could maybe play next to Triple J. And yeah, we also took Jacob Toppin, brother of OB in the second round. So Lively could be a G League guy. We could try to develop him. I don't know who this guy is interesting um so we are gonna probably decline the option on vince williams zaire santi aldama xavier tillman and desmond bain welcome back all right so in free agency 
We don't have any money. Let's take a look at the trade block. Some players that are on the block in Milwaukee, but don't really fit on what we need. Kavon Mooney on the trade block in Golden State. I mean, I, I would go after Kavon Mooney depending on the price. CJ McCollum on the trade block. Don't really need another scoring guard. All right, so I'm going to look at forwards that have a B minus or better in mid-range three-point scoring, perimeter, and post defense. I mean, Kawhi Leonard. Do we try to get him in Memphis? Okay, with that price tag, no. Eh, Julius Randle, I don't know about. Do we think that Pascal Siakam and Triple J could work? Possibly. Do we offer a trade for Chris Middleton? Maybe. You know what? We could see what the price tag is for. Ugh, so I'd have to give up Luke Kennard in this deal, which is fine. I feel like at the end of the day, if you're going to get Chris Middleton, it's not a terrible idea. I don't even know if we can get there salary cap wise because Brandon Clark is still out for a while. I'm not... Is Tyus Jones and Luke Kennard worth it to get Chris Middleton? Probably. And we give them that 2024 first round pick. But then again, like I want a leader in the locker room and I don't know if Chris Middleton is that guy. So yeah, under any circumstances, like the Grizzly said, we're not bringing back Dylan Brooks. We are going to bring in a veteran though if he accepts this one year offer. Let's see. And he does not. I was hoping to get Jay Crowder on this team, but he signs with the Bulls. I kind of wanted to move Brandon Clark this offseason because I don't know if it's worth having him, Aldama, and Adams. But I think we might wait until he's back from injury to make any moves. So yeah, I didn't want to give up a lot for Chris Middleton because I don't know if he was that needle mover for us. So we might be more of a trade deadline team if we want to make an upgrade. And yeah, we also have four centers with, well, Kenneth Lofton. I don't know if I would consider him a center. I also hate 2K. I had 16 players on the roster. and Usually they just cut the worst one. But they cut Derek Lively over Jacob Toppin. Why? But we're going to get him back, don't worry. So yeah, we have a ton of centers on this team. We're going to have a pretty deep bench as well, so we can withstand injuries. So it's going to be Ja, Bain, Zaire with Jaron Jackson Jr. and Adams in the front court, Ty Schoen, Xavier Tillman, Santi Aldama, Luke Kennard, and David Roddy wrapping out the rotation. Just 2K has a glitch right now where I can't send anybody to the G League. System proficiency is going to be four-star balance. Let's see how this team performs. Hopefully no major injuries till after the deadline well i guess i just don't want anybody hurt at the deadline so i can't move them or hurt at the end of the year so where they're out for the playoffs so let's just hope for no injuries at all so what is the all-star draft time let's see if john morant is an all-star starter he is not he is a reserve 25 points just under six rebounds 10 assists one and a half steals a night 39 from three two he was drafted by team Giannis. this team is currently 32 and 21 i would maybe hope to be a little bit better right now we are the four seed in the west jaron jackson jr did get hurt fairly recently but desmond bain has been great in his absence 47 from 391 from the line damn desmond bain that's crazy there's triple j you kind of hope he's a little bit better. He's been fairly disappointing this year. Brandon Clark's been solid um, since he's come back from injury. There's Zaire Williams, Tyus Jones, Luke Kennard. Yeah, we have a lot of guys scoring like around those seven points a night. Uh, Derek Lively has been pretty brutal uh, because Steven Adams, or no, Xavier Tillman got hurt at one point. But yeah, like this team, I think is too deep with guys that need playing time. So I'm just going to see if anybody's on the trade block. Nikola Vucevic is on the trade block. Well, he was probably just signed by Toronto. I don't know if I want to pay his like contract. Man, if Aiden was on the trade block, I'd think about trading for him. I probably could throw a solid offer out for Aiden. We are the 14th best offensive team in the league. We are one of the better defensive teams in the league. Second in defensive rating. So I don't know if we should really try to trade for DeAndre Aiden. I mean, I'm not giving up Triple J or Bain. Also, Bruce Brown in Miami is a sick fit. I want to see if I could try to trade for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Would they like Jake LaRavia and Luke Kennard send him back to Detroit? He's to make the money work. He's been a really good three-point shooter, but I think I value KCP's leadership. He's 30. He can maybe mentor some guys. He's an okay three-point shooter. He's a good defender. We could start him at that small forward position. And they say no. What about instead of LaRavia? We throw in Santi Aldama, who I think definitely has higher potential than LaRavia. And they say no. I mean, I'm not giving up any first round picks. What about a second? Okay, that gets it done. We trade for KCP. That might be the only trade we make. He's going to go up to an 80 overall as I move him to the small forward position. This is definitely going to hurt Zaire Williams' minutes. And let's hope that we can stay as a top three team here in the Western Conference. And Trey Young wins MVP this season. Wemby wins Rookie of the Year in Charlotte. John Wall, Sixth Man of the Year in Cleveland. Kessler gets Depoy in his second year. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Jalen Smith most improved. Shout out to him and Quinn Schneider, coach of the year. We get John Moran on all NBA third team. We get Jaron Jackson Jr. on all defensive second team. And we finish the season as the three seed. We have a tough round one matchup though going up against the Phoenix Suns who look fairly healthy. End of the season stats, John Moran did finish with a double-double. Desmond Bain, 50-40-90 season. Wow. 69% true shooting for the former Horn Frog. We got Triple J averaging 16-7. and seven. The 
like the numbers did go up from when I last showed you guys his stats. Taj Jones, 10.6 assists. He'll be a free agent at the end of the year. There's Brandon Clark, 10, 7, and 1. Good efficiency. Uh, there's KCP. Hopefully he's a good three-point shooter in the playoffs. And then we still have Zaire Williams, Xavier Tillman, who had a couple injuries this year. David Roddy, we got Steven Adams with a minor injury right now. So I think for the playoffs, I'm not going to play Xavier Tillman. I know. I just don't need three centers with Clark and Adams relatively healthy. So I'm going to see what Kenneth Lofton can do because in limited minutes, he looked pretty good for us. So we're going to go 12 to Roddy, 14 to Lofton. We're going to probably go the most amount of bench minutes to Brandon Clark at like 24 a night, 20 to Tyus Jones. Let's do about 26 to Steven Adams, 36 to Jaron Jackson Jr., 42 to John Morant, probably around 28 to KCP, and let's do 38 to Desmond Bain. System proficiency is four stars. Let's see if we can beat Phoenix. And here goes nothing. Game one of round one, we end up winning. John Morant with a triple-double. Desmond Bain and Triple J combined for 60 points. Hell yeah. And we won by two. Game number two, we end up winning. Let's go by 10 points. John Morant with 37 and 13. Desmond Bain with 28 points. 17 rebounds for Steven Adams and KCP with seven assists and 19 points. Can we go up 3-0? Boom. Boom, there we go. We end up winning by 18 points. Bain with 33 points in 33 minutes. He goes eight for eight from three. Wow. And are we going to sweep them? Yeah, we just swept the Phoenix Suns in round one. We just beat them by 21 in game four. Bain with 34. Ja with 21 and 14. He averaged basically 14 assists in those four games. We're taking on the Pelicans in round two. So if Zion is healthy, we have the number one pick in the 2019 draft going up against the second overall pick in the 2019 draft. They got Terry Rozier starting for them at point guard. They probably did a Rozier McCollum swap. Ingram, Herb Jones, Zion, Jonas Valanciunas. Then they got Daniels, Alvarado, Hayes off the bench. Trey Murphy is hurt for them. We do win game one. So we are 5-0 and to start the playoffs. Job with 38, 8, and 9. Seven turnovers though. But hey, a win is a win. Game two, we do lose our first game of the playoffs in our sixth game. That's impressive as hell. Five blocks for Steven Adams. He's been really good for us in the playoffs. Game number three, we win. Let's go. We win by eight points. Shot with 32, 11, and 10. Triple J with 22 and nine. Bane with 20 and 10. Game four, we lose. Okay, we're going back and forth here. We just lost by 17. Bane, he had 31 points, but did not shoot well at all. Game five, we win. All right, by eight points. Bane with 31, Zion with 31. I feel like Bane is averaging more than Ja in the playoffs. 28.8 for Desmond Bane. Ja's averaging 26.6. Uh, Ty Jones just under 10. Triple J's averaging 17 points. Three-point efficiency could be a little bit better. And we're going to a game seven. <laughs> Uh, Triple J had a great game here in game six. Does not matter though, because a loss is a loss. Let's see if we could beat the Pelicans here in game seven on the road, the two seed. Ugh, okay, we're down by a little bit right now. We are currently down by seven. We are down by basically six going into the fourth quarter. Can we come back and win? No. Oh my God, we won. Oh, <laughs> we're in the conference finals. Great fourth quarter, great overtime. Ja with 30 and 19. Bain and Jackson combined for 49 points. Adams, two steals, four blocks. Rozier at 30. Zion at 31. That was not enough. Grizzlies, Warriors, Conference Finals. This Warriors team pretty much has the same one through four, but they got Drummond at the five. Jordan Poole, Kuminga, Men Thompson, Gogo Batate off the bench. I wonder if they did some type of like Looney for Drummond trade. No, they actually traded Looney to Portland for Keon Johnson and Kevin Knox. What a trade for Golden State. What? Jalen Brunson was traded for John Collins. And then Looney was traded for McConnell. All right, can we beat Golden State and go to the NBA Finals? We lost game one by eight points. John Bain played very well, but Poole goes off. Kuminga goes off. All right, game two, we win by three points. Ja with a 41-point triple-double. Desmond Bain also had a triple-double. Man, Desmond Bain has been insane for us. We dropped game three by 21 points. I like Jaren Jackson Jr. Hey, he's been fine. He's been fine. Ah, we go down three to one though. All right, it's fine. KCP maybe hasn't been playing as good as I wanted him to in the conference finals or the playoffs as a whole. And we end up losing in five. Hawks versus Warriors in the NBA Finals. Okay. 2K really likes the Hawks. But uh, yeah, overall in the playoffs, KCP, I mean, trouble from three, from the line, just not great from two. And the Hawks sweep the Warriors with DeJounte Murray, not Trey Young being your Finals MVP. All right, so we just lost in round one to the Lakers. And a year later, we end up losing in the Conference Finals. I would say that's some improvement. We also had the Warriors top three protected first. It ends up at 24. We have our first at 26. So 
two firsts there in the mid to late 20s. All right, so we're going to be trading pick 24, John Conchar and Brandon Clark to Toronto for Nikola Vucevic. Vucevic, we're not going to run as much offensively than he was in maybe Orlando and Chicago. We do need him to be serviceable on the defensive end, but he doesn't have to be elite. But now we have Vucevic and Triple J in that front court. Both of them can space the floor, can open the offense a little bit more. I'm still looking for a small forward upgrade in the offseason as well. I think Adams and Vucevic can play a similar amount of minutes. And if we want to go for more defensive, less floor spacing lineup, we go with Steven Adams. And if we want to space the floor a little bit more and look to have another offensive weapon out there, we go with Vucevic. So Zachary Versace goes number one to the Houston Rockets. Khalil Ware, number two to Chicago. Shout out to him staying at Oregon and maybe going higher than he would have in this 2020 three draft will definitely higher. Matzis Buzelis goes four to Orlando. And we're going to take Jordan Walsh with the 26th pick here. So Walsh is a 73 overall. He could be traded though. We're going to pick up the team options on Roddy, Williams, and Moravia. Bain, we're going to make a very rich man this offseason. Ooh, Michael Porter Jr. is on the trade block. Okay. So is Ben Simmons and Dorian Finney-Smith. Let's see the value or what the price tag is on Michael Porter Jr. Somebody, like, imagine him and Desmond Bain on the wings together. That would just be an insane three-point lineup. So I'd start it off with probably Zaire Williams, Jordan Walsh, who we just took in the first round, KCP to make the money work. Damn, it's got to be like a five for one. It's a lot, man. That's a lot. And I don't want to move any of these top four. So yeah, I'm going to offer them Zaire Williams, Jordan Walsh, KCP to make the money work, Derek Lively, and Jake LaRavia from Michael Porter Jr. I don't even know if they would accept this. If not, I would probably throw in my first round pick next year, but a five for one player trade, it's crazy to do, but that's the only way we could pull this off. And we're going to try to re-sign Desmond Bain as well, which we will do that because he's restricted. Let's see if they accept this trade. I think they will, and they do. I probably could have given up a little bit less, but I couldn't have to make the money work. And welcome to the team, Michael Porter Jr. So Bain, we're going to bring back Tyus Jones, honestly, let's bring back. We're about to be a very like high luxury tax team because Tillman probably going to let walk. But uh, yeah, Tyus Jones, if I can bring him back on a three-year deal, I'll give him a player option on the last year. And we're going to pay Desmond Bain as well. Now, Tyus Jones, like maybe would look for a situation in which he'd be the starter in, or maybe he still wants to compete and is fine with his role in Memphis. And welcome back Desmond Bain on a five-year, $150 million deal. We are going to let Xavier Tillman and Isaiah Livers walk. And let's also bring back another veteran in the locker room. That's a former Memphis Grizzly, Kyle Anderson. Let's give him a two-year deal with $18 million guaranteed. Also going to look to get some other veterans like Terrence Ross and Derek Favors. All right, so Jaws up to a 98, Triple J 89, Bain 88, Porter Jr. 85. This is like an elite three-point shooting lineup. Wow. Um, MPJ does have a B- minus permanent D, which could be a little bit better. We know Vujovic isn't a great defender. And like I said, since we have elite floor spacers, maybe I go with Adams at the five sometimes. I really like this team. So this is the team pretty much. Morant. Bain, Porter Jr., Jackson Jr., Vucevic uh, in the starting five. Adams also getting 24 minutes a night, so half the game. Vucevic will be the center, half Adams will be. And then we have Tyus Jones, Kyle Anderson, and David Roddy wrapping up the bench. Four and a half star balance. I really love the way this roster is constructed. John Morant is a starter on Team Luka this year in the All-Star game. He's averaging 37 and 10. He might win MVP 41% from three as well. We are 40 in 14, which I believe is the one seed in the Western Conference as it is. Second best record in the NBA behind the Hawks. We have Ja averaging 37 and 10, like I mentioned. Desmond Bain at 20 points, five rebounds, five assists, also 50, 40, 90. Triple J, 18.6 rebounds. And then there's Michael Porter Jr., almost like averaging 50, 49. I mean, it's not almost, but 52 from the field, 44 from three. Maybe the most efficient scores with Bain and Porter Jr. on the wings for us. And then there's Vucevic, who, like I said, doesn't need to be like the biggest offensive threat for us, but I would like him to improve maybe a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be making any moves at the deadline. Let's cross our fingers that we are full healthy for the playoffs and i'll see you guys at the end of the second season Oof. all right well vucevic has a new injury he is out six to eight weeks with a severe left ankle sprain that's brutal and yeah john moran does win mvp robert dillingham rookie of the year he was selected eighth overall by the knicks i meant thompson six men of the year in golden state how did he end up in golden state he was a 20th pick how did he fall that low wow miles turner gets deep boy wise and most improved in Sacramento and Schneider coach of the year. We get John all NBA first team. Jaron Jackson Jr. gets all defensive first team. And we are the one seed in the Western Conference taking on the Denver Nuggets in round one. So it's the Michael Porter Jr. revenge game um, or revenge series. There's Zyra Williams and KCP. 
two former Grizzlies starting for them. And it looks like Warabia is coming off the bench. Here were the end of the season stats for the team. Vucevic is back and healthy, thankfully. So we are fully healthy for the playoffs. I think I'm going to go with Steven Adams just a little bit more than Vucevic. So Vucevic is going to get like 22 minutes a night. We'll go 26 to Adams. We might drop slow-mo a little bit down to like 15 minutes a night with Roddy. And let's just basically go 39 to Ja. Four and a half star balance. Let's see. Can we beat Denver in round one and advance to round two? And oh, we have an injury. Oof. And it's the Desmond Bain. Uh, four to six weeks with a high right ankle sprain. So I might go with some two guard lineups with Tyus Jones and John Morant. I don't know if that's a good idea. Eh, John Morant did shoot 40% from three. That's fine. So we're going to insert probably Kenneth Lofton into the rotation. He's going to get 15 minutes a night. We'll probably go to 20 for Roddy. Uh, maybe up Vucevic's a little bit, Adams a little bit, and then we'll probably give like Ty Jones 29 minutes. Oh, let's hope we can win without Desmond Bain. We, we sweep them, so let's hope that Bain is back for the conference finals if we were to make it. He's still out four to six weeks though. And can Ja carry us? Well, that's why we picked up Michael Porter Jr. And Vucevic was really good for us in round one. We're taking on the Pelicans who we beat in what, seven last year. They do look a little bit worse on paper. They have Patrick Williams though. And can we beat them and go to the conference finals? Ugh, we're down two to one. Damn, we're down three to one. Okay, well, we end up losing in five. God damn it. I guess we missed Desmond Bain that much. Jaron Jackson Jr. played very well offensively. Vucevic was fine. Porter Jr., maybe we needed to step up a little bit more. That does hurt. And it's going to be Dallas versus Boston in the NBA Finals. And Dallas sweeps Boston with Luka being your Finals MVP. So we have our first round pick at 28 in this draft in 2025. I'm going to keep Taylor Jackets as our head coach. In which I'm going to take VJ Miller, another wing. I feel like I've just drafted a ton of wings. Well, I guess Derek Lively in the 2023 draft. But Jordan Walsh last year and now vj miller who we're gonna sign to that rookie contract the number one overall pick was dj or excuse me dylan harper to the orlando magic ian jackson goes two to the rockets trey johnson three to the spurs let's pick up the team options on roddy and lofton we are going to look to bring back stephen adams on a two-year deal in which he's going to accept that we're also going to look to sign a familiar face in luke Kennard, who might not crack the rotation but if an injury does happen to desmond bain again we can go to him and yeah welcome back to the team luke Kennard. if i can also snag gary harris as well that would be huge i don't know if we will let's go i'm gonna try to get another solid center i mean if i could sign drew eubanks come on oh my god i think we're killing it this free agency class with role players and kata beats the up too oh yeah david roddy went up uh kyle anderson goes down i like this team better this year it's a little deeper all right so it's gonna be job ja, bane porter jr jaron jackson jr vucevic probably is the starting five year ties jones is gonna come off the bench i think we're gonna do a similar steven adams vucevic hybrid again i think canard is only gonna be in there in case an injury happens we're gonna still roll with kyle anderson maybe like 12 minutes a night 18 to david roddy and then i can probably go 34 to bane 34 to porter jr 34 to Triple J, and we can give two more to Roddy. I would like to see some development from him this season. Four and a half star balanced. I like the amount of veterans we have in the locker room with Vucevic and Steven Adams and Kyle Anderson. I can say Luke Kennard's a veteran now. Gary Harris as well. And let's hope we just can avoid injuries in the playoffs this year, because that's just always my kryptonite. Ah, this is pretty upsetting. David Roddy having the best year of his career. Really good season two. Tore his ACL, um, and he's out for the season. So that means Luke Kennard, I think, will be taking his minutes. For the foreseeable future if canard doesn't perform well then i might just go to kenneth lofton we are struggling going into the all-star draft is john morant get a starter position again that's a bob and Caro getting it and no oh no well job was out for a little bit but i guess he didn't hit the games threshold okay i mean how many games has he played this year 30 i get that um but yeah when he was out it looks like bane stepped up so did jaron jackson jr and we are 30 and 25 i mean i wish we were a little bit better i remember how i said i wanted to trade for deandre aiden well we're gonna do it we're gonna be giving them nikola vucevic vj miller who we just took in the first round our first round pick and a second deandre aiden is expiring at the end of the year this is a upgrade in my opinion uh getting him over vucevic and yeah that's gonna hopefully be our championship winning move i know like championship and aiden like winning move it doesn't really go together but it, it is an upgrade enough where i feel comfortable about our team's positioning so steven adams probably gonna drop to like 18 minutes a night and we're gonna go 30 to aiden it's a really good starting five morant bain porter jr jackson jr and aiden shout out to the 2018 draft class man we have aiden who was the number one overall pick jaron jackson jr who was the fourth overall pick and michael porter jr who was the 14th overall pick crossing my fingers we are fully healthy for the playoffs Oh, what is this? Okay, Steven Adams has a 
minor injury okay damn we're probably not gonna hit 50 wins this season unless we win out completely okay we we come on there we go okay we go 50 and 32 shout out to Cade Cunningham winning MVP what Trey got it in year one jaw last year Cade this year it's the video of the point guard okay the Pistons go 71 and 11 are you serious we do get John Moran on all NBA third team Triple J on all defensive first team but yeah the Pistons were that good <laughs> Oh my god, that team won 71 games. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, well, at least they're in the East. So we ended up as the third seed in the West. The season stats. Let's come up with the rotation. We're fully healthy besides Roddy. All right, so it's 42 to Jaw, 34 to Bain, Porter Jr., and Jackson Jr., 30 to Aiden. Then we have Ty Jones, Steven Adams, Kyle Anderson, and Luke Kennard off the bench. Four and a half star balanced. We know we're taking on the Rockets in round one, who have Fred Van Vliet and Quinn and Grimes, not the backcourt I expected. Is Jalen Green injured? That would be kind of crazy. Okay, he's just not there. What? what team is Jalen Green on? He's in San Antonio now. Okay, he just signed with them. Yeah, Houston just didn't want to bring him back. Game one, we end up losing. Oh, lovely start. We give up 151 points. <laughs> okay, um, we end up winning game two by 17. Don't do that to me. Don't make me give up 151 in game one. And then what? We gave up, only allowed them to score nine points in the fourth quarter. And we still lost by 15 what are we really gonna lose oh my god we're down three games to one i love this con like roster construction and we force a game six we're gonna lose in six aren't we okay now we force a game seven are we are we gonna come back down three to one i'm just kind of so flustered right now i didn't think we were gonna be down three to one i thought we maybe had a really good shot at winning it all and i'm nervous well it looks like the rockets are gonna blow a three to one lead which I guess I'll take advancing to the next round because a series win is a series win, but that doesn't give me the most confidence at all. I mean, this Mavericks team isn't anything special around Luka. Three 20-point-per-game scores in round one. All right, let's see what happens here in round two. I am nervous as hell as the one-seeded Thunder loss. We lose game one. We win game two. We win game three. We win game four. All right, can we not blow through to one lead? Okay, we advance. Uh, they win game one, and then we win four in a row. I'll take it. And we're taking on the four-seeded Lakers, who have Jalen Ojefino, Jordan Hawkins. LeBron is still playing. At 41 years old, they have a Dembona, Anthony Davis, Cole Anthony, Drew Holiday, Trumman. Wow, this team in, like, 2018 would have slapped. But then again, like, Hood Shafino would have been, like, 14 and same with Hawkins. But, yeah, like, Drew Holiday, Drummond, AD, and LeBron in their prime would have been dope. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Grizzlies versus Lakers. We win game one by four. I'm not too nervous about this series, but I'm not super confident. And we have looked a lot better since that round one, in which we came back from a 3-1 to one deficit. And now we're up 3-0 in the conference finals. All right, just don't blow a 3-0 lead. And what? <laughs> in rounds two and three, we go 8-1. and one, And we were down 3-1. to one, And we're taking on the 71 and 11 Pistons, who almost lost in round one or round two, and round three wasn't easiest for them. Oh my god, they were down two to one, too, and then they won three on ants. All right, well, here goes nothing. Pistons versus Grizzlies. We lose game one mm, in overtime. That sucks. Game two, let's see what happens. We win, all right, by 23 points. Game three, we win by three. Oh my god, we were so close to being up 3 0. What? <laughs> Ivy and Cunningham come on for 79 points. Wow. Game four, this is so huge if we could win it. Yes. yes. We're out. Oh my God, we won by one. This series has been insanely close besides that game two. And can we win in five? Nope. They force a game six. K with 48 and 11. Don't make me blow a three to one. Finals lead. Don't do it. Oh my God, we're going to a game seven. We lost by three. You gotta be kidding me. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. I don't want to blow a three to one lead. Like I come back down three to one in round one. You're going to make me blow a three to one lead in the finals. All right, we're up. We were up by 15 at one point. Don't blow a 15 point lead. We're up by 20. We're up by 20. Don't blow a 20 point lead, please. Please. Okay. Yes. We blow them out. Let's freaking go. Oh, you scared me 2K. You scared me in round one. You scared me in the finals. But the Memphis Grizzlies have won the 2026 NBA championship. John ja Morant is your finals MVP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Memphis Grizzlies rebuild. I actually had a good time building this team and with this roster construction. It wasn't too frustrating. Let me know if you guys enjoyed by dropping a thumbs up. You guys should be seeing this on Thursday the 11th. On Saturday, I'm going to be doing an expansion live stream. It's going to be about five seasons. Hope you can make it out. It's probably going to be around like three o'clock Eastern time on Saturday. And then on Sunday, hopefully it's not a Knicks elimination rebuild because I'm recording this before game five tonight. But if they lose tonight on May 10th, 
but yeah, it'll be a Nyx elimination reveal on Sunday. And I'll be a little bit upset for that one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. I love you guys, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.